Hi, I'm Bill Myers and this is another one of my video tips of the week. In this week's video tip, I'm going to show you how to reduce the file size of your video files, especially ones you're uploading to YouTube. Now we're going to do this using the free Handbrake program. Now before I show you how to do it, let me show you some of the file size reductions you can expect. What you're seeing on the screen here is a video that I produced in Camtasia. The video is 3 minutes and 23 seconds long and the file size was 61 megabytes. I ran it through Handbrake and the file size dropped down to just under 4 megabytes. So it went from 61 megabytes to 4 megabytes. What this means is when I put this video on my web pages, it's going to load a lot faster. People are be able to view it without staggers or delays and it's going to look great. Now to give you another example, here's a video that's 39 minutes and 55 seconds long. Now the video file size is 4.2 gigabytes. That's a very large file. It'll take you a long time to upload that to YouTube or any other sharing site. You certainly wouldn't want to put that on your web page because no one would ever be able to view it. But after running it through Handbrake and still keeping it at 1080p, I reduced the file size down to 780 meg. Now that's a large file no matter how you look at it, but it's a lot smaller than 4.2 gigabytes. Getting these types of compression reductions is pretty easy using the free Handbrake program. Now to get Handbrake, you go to handbrake.fr and you can download it and it works for Windows 7 or later. When you start Handbrake up, it's going to look like this fairly simple to use. You have open source and that's where you upload your video file. You have the start encode button. You don't want to press that until you're ready to encode. Uh, you have the destination file. By default it's going to add a number and the dash and HB telling you it's run through a handbrake. Then over here in the right you have a number of presets and all these presets work pretty well. But for YouTube I've created my own preset and I'll show you what those settings are. Down here at the bottom we have the user presets. We click my YouTube 1080 preset and we'll start with the container. We want it to be MP4. We want it to be web optimized. We want the picture to be 920 by 1080. We want it to be anamorphic. We want the modulus to be 2. Under filters I don't have any filters turned on. Under video I have it H264. That's what you're going to want. Frame rate same as source but variable frame rate. Under quality I want the quality to be 21. Under optimized video, I want the encoder preset to be medium. Under audio, I'm going to leave it the way it is. Uh, there's not going to be subtitles and no chapters. And basically, once you have those, what you want to do is come down here where it says Add. Click Add New Preset and enter that as YouTube 1080. After you open your source and you choose your preset, you click Start Encode and it'll do the encode for you. Anyway, to get the free Handbrake program, you go to handbrake.fr you download it and install it and it works for Windows, Mac or Linux. It's a free program and it works great. Thought you might be interested in knowing about this. I'm Bill Myers. This has been another one of my video tips of the week. You can find more like this at www.bmyers.com.